Today, we're going to be looking at one new company's approach to what I term solving the DJI problem. Whether you are a hobby flyer, commercial operator, or working in law enforcement or search and rescue, the issues of a mainly political nature surrounding DJI have come to a head recently, particularly in the US, but it's coming for the drone industry globally. As a short recap, for those who do not know, DJI have been identified by many politicians and commentators as some kind of threat to security on a wider basis in support of the Chinese government. Suggestions have ranged from the bizarre, including claims your DJI drone is recording your heart rate and temperature, to other concerns over the large amount of consumer funds going to a company with alleged links to the Chinese military. There is a bill working its way through the US political system at the moment, focused on the potential ban outright of DJI, even for consumers. Now, that isn't what this video is about. We have a project on this topic in the works, and it's pretty enlightening to say at least. If you want to see more on the DJI restrictions, including interviews with the politicians involved, hit the subscribe button to get notified. That all seems a little bit strange to most of you uses of DJI products, we get a reliable drone or camera delivering results and quality far above anyone else in the market right now. I personally have seen no evidence publicly of anything to cause such a political reaction. Only time will tell where that goes, but in the meantime, we have what I have titled in this video, a DJI problem. At the moment in the US, there are many federal restrictions on the purchase and use of DJI drones. These are often repeated at state level, and as with Florida, even go further to stop even local law enforcement from using the products. The problem is an international one, with UK National Police confirming in an interview with Geeksvana last year that they are in talks with government about the continued use of Chinese drones. We also have the RAF declining permission to fly in their aerodrome restriction zones if you're flying a Chinese drone as well. So this isn't just a US problem. The problem that this creates is a void. We have a political system who seems keen to restrict the use of Chinese drones, but the alternatives from US-based companies are not exactly up to the standard, especially in any kind of scale. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some great specialized products in the drone industry, and in a few years, I am sure we're going to start seeing big things, but that doesn't help those using these drones for commercial purposes right now, particularly in the US, especially where life-saving work might also be involved. Well, Enter Anzi Robotics, who claim to have a solution to the problem. When I look at who is behind the company, it doesn't surprise me. Randall Warness is someone that many people in the industry will know and in the wider consumer market as well. Although he has had a long and established career, you might know him from a short spell as CEO at Autel Robotics. Now, without going down that particular rabbit hole, which is a rabbit hole all of its own, Randall's time at Autel was short-lived, really just a number of weeks, but it actually put him on a lot of people's radar because it appeared his integrity and loyalty was actually what brought that short tenure about. Certainly, his open approach was strikingly different and he had a completely different attitude to most industry leaders. Randall has seemingly used his experience and contacts to bring about a first in the industry. Andy Robotics have licensed products from DJI to be released under their own US-based entity. Having spent time chatting with Randall over the years, including an interview here on Geeks Fana, which you can go back and watch, I'm not surprised that it is someone with his unique view and experience who has brought about this type of innovation in the US drone market. The new company will be bringing recognizable products with their own skin and with additional features to the industrial user in the US. Let's pop over to the press release and look at some of the points Anzu Robotics are telling us, including looking at some of the specs as well. So as you can see right at the top here, Anzu Robotics is proud to announce its entrance into the drone market with the launch of two groundbreaking platforms, the Raptor and Raptor T. So that's two drones that we're getting from them. Leveraging the latest advanced in drone hardware, Anzu Robotics has created top-tier technology manufactured in a way to satisfy geopolitical and cyber security concerns. The software driving these innovative platforms is entirely developed in the United States through a collaboration with Aloft Technologies, including a prominent Syracuse-based firm. It then goes on to give the main release, which you'll be able to read um, on the linked press release in the description. But here we have the Raptor series platforms boast powerful features, including familiar world-class hardware. Developed through a strategic licensing agreement, the Raptor series drones are quality and mature aerial platforms with powerful sensing capabilities. The release then goes on to give us some very recognizable specs over the two cameras, obviously giving that hybrid zoom capability 
of up to 56 times. It then talks about the Raptor T, which combines a half inch 48 megapixel and 12 megapixel camera with a 640 by 512 high resolution LWIR thermal imaging payload. It also gives the 56 times hybrid zoom capability as well with 45 minutes of flight time, a nine mile range and available RTK module. The Raptor series drones are poised as a solution for nearly any small uncrewed aerial system user. Now, whilst I've been talking about this, obviously we've also been giving you the pictures of the of the products coming up, which again, thank you to Anzi Robotics and Randall for providing those to us before launch. They talk here about safety, security and compliance, that the geopolitical concerns regarding data security have led to several legislative actions in the United States, which threaten long-term access to leading drone technology. Anzi Robotics is owned and operated by American citizens and offers US support service and hosts all data on domestic servers. Now, that part is powered by the Aloft Air Control app. The Raptor series drones encourages compliance with the FAA's regulations on the use of national airspace systems. This is interesting in terms of the fact that we're not just seeing a uh, similar to, to the Cogito product and other things that we've seen where it's, it's literally just the DJI app rehashed as such. It looks like they're actually taking the time to and the effort, of course, which they need to do in, in this sector to actually produce their own control app, which is obviously powered by Loft, which sounds fantastic, frankly. And they're saying they're a Delaware company with headquarters in Austin, Texas, and it's wholly American owned and operated. That's obviously a point that they want to stress here due to the entire purpose of their products. Anzi Robotics is focused on bringing the best in drone technology unencumbered by the ever-changing geopolitical landscape at attainable pricing. There was also a security statement which came along with the information as well. And we're going to take a very quick look at that just to give you some of the key points. American ownership, Anzi Robotics is an entirely American-owned company, ensuring that the development and deployment of our drone technology align with domestic regulatory standards and security protocols manufactured in Malaysia. Whilst our components and final hardware are manufactured in Malaysia, we maintain a strict oversight and quality control through the manufacturing process to uphold security standards and mitigate potential risks. Now, where it says that the components and final hardware are manufactured in Malaysia, obviously we're aware that the Cogito product is also Malaysia built as well. In terms of that fact, in terms of that particular process, I presume at some point we're going to see a little bit more inside that world and, and actually have a bit see that a little bit more evidenced from the point of view of that being separated from DJI. Uh, because I know that some uh, suggestions have been that the Malaysia factory is actually a DJI um, owned one, but that's just suggestions as such. Back to the report. So data, storage and encryption. All data captured by our drones is stored locally on the SD card of the drone itself, minimizing the risk of unauthorized access during transmission. Additionally, all flight data stored by Aloft is encrypted in transit and at rest using AES-256 encryption, a robust encryption standard that ensures the confidentiality and integrity of your data. And then it talks about the firmware ownership and storage. The firmware used in our drones is owned and controlled by Anzu Robotics. A loss air control platform runs on servers in the United States, further enhancing the security of our software infrastructure and protecting against unauthorized modifications or tampering. In summary, Anzi Robotics is committed to prioritizing the security and privacy of your data operations through our partnerships with trusted entities like Aloft. So really what they're telling us here is that they have got a very, very good looking product, the Raptor and Raptor T, which are obviously Mavic 3 Enterprise, Mavic 3 Thermal competitors as such or equivalents, but that really is the, the start of it as such. The, the back end is actually far more important. The back end of things, the software provided by Aloft, where the data is secured, etc. that kind of thing is really the selling point here. And, and there's going to be a lot of the financial value in terms of the pricing is going to be there as well, which we will come on to. Anza Robotics tell us that pricing will be $5,099 for the Raptor and $7,599 for the Thermal Raptor T version. This, of course, as I was saying, comes with the US backend and support from Aloft. This heralds a significant change in the drone market. DJI products being licensed and packaged by a US company and even manufactured elsewhere in Malaysia to provide a solution to what I have 
have today titled the DJI problem. This launch is for a specialized drone aimed at industrial users. So outside of that market, this probably won't get the coverage and awareness from the wider drone economy that I think it actually deserves. But this could be a sea change in terms of how the industry might look in the future. We've seen other hints of this with the Cogito Tech Spectre Air product, but that isn't in a particularly well-formed or release setup yet, shall we say, which in itself is an interesting part of the discussion. Just because you have access to the license and can produce DJI-esque products, manufacturers outside of China, it doesn't mean you're going to get automatic success. The stuttering start to life Cogito have enjoyed is likely to be in stark contrast to what I am expecting to see from Anzu Robotics. What political responses this might bring will be interesting to see as well. But for sure, Anzu Robotics seems more action than words at the moment. And that is something which is particularly rare in the current drone industry. If you're watching this video on the day of publication, there is a seminar to launch the product happening today in just a few hours on the 17th of April. There is a link in the description to sign up for the presentation over Zoom with a chance to ask questions as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you one of the industrial or Leo users who might actually be interested in this product? Do we need to see this kind of release for the UK market to get ahead of the wave for once? Let me know. This is a story we will keep you up to date on. Randall Warness of Andrew Robotics will be coming on Geeks Varna soon to chat about the new venture as well. So if you've got any questions for him, let me know in the comments as well. Sean out.